Ahoy everyone, and we're back in the wonderful world of Pirates of the Polygon Sea, and um, we still have our badass ship. There's Commander or Commodore Blackwood just shitting up my place. Let's get the hell out of here and go do some pirating. Now, I mentioned in the last episode that I was going to play some of this off screen, do a little bit of grinding. I didn't do that. I ran out of time this weekend. Uh, I spent a lot of time just focusing on finishing up um, the room. Which will be, uh, well, you'll have already seen a lot of the efforts of that because I'm going to just mass dump those videos one a day until we have finished all of the room and we've started the room two, which I will say that's an amazing game. So I can't wait to share that with you guys. But for now, we're in this amazing game and we're going to be doing a little bit of black sails, maybe? Yes? You think we could? I think we could. Let's get a little bit of a bounty going. <laughs> well, come on. Oh, come on. Give up your goods and then you can live. Oops. There we go. Oh, yes. You're going to be mine, Sunny Jim. Bobby Sue. And maybe Frank. There we go. Don't run through your own jazz. Will my own town fire on me? That'd be kind of funny if they did. Come on. Get him. Don't run into the land. Okay. Um, that's a that's the Commodore. They're in a sloop. I say we fight them. See if we can't add some misery to their lives. Maybe take some of their money away? Okay, there's a very large ship now hunting us. <laughs> we have brought on bounty hunters. Okay. That's not good. That's very not good. I'd rather not. Ah, uh, okay. We're fine. It's fine. It's just, yeah, I'm not, I'm not fighting anybody. No, 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 well, uh, let's go to the market. <laughs> we're we're gonna lose our ship. I want everybody to know that that we've gotten ourselves into quite a, a pickle. And until these guys, wow. Well, hey, I got everything off the ship before we we got completely wrecked. I mean, just <laughs> that cost us eight grand, but it was worth it. That was, that was entertaining. We just we just sat there like, meh, don't look. We did take out one of our competitors, so I'm gonna call that a win. You know, cost them a few thousand gold. <laughs> yes, they are. They're very protected, unless of course I decide not to protect them anymore, and then I kill you. You know, it's it's always a possibility. Hello. Okay, well, let's just light him on fire. Yep. Yeah. How do you like it? Do you like being on fire, buddy? How about being dead? I love that there's like a little bit of a standoff because they're all stuck on the rocks. Mm. Oh, you son of a bitch! That was my pirate. I killed them. Of course, I did come in to snipe their prey. I mean, let's be honest. I still should have gotten the uh, bounty for it. An unclaimed island. Hmm. Do I don't have the workers to really do anything with that yet, do I? I'll take that. Excuse me, I'm I'm busy rubbing all on this island. Not enough gold. Yeah. 
So gold and workers are really what we're lacking right now. I'm not too worried about the gold. The workers a little more so. There you go. Get out of here, buddy. You should pay me money for escorting you home. All right, what's down here? A little bit of a bit of a battle going on. Oh, it's a man of war. That is one hell of a ship. Okay, we're just we're just gonna take that one to the face, huh? Well, that's always a smart choice. You know, the ship really isn't that that much stronger. It, it can't take all those hits, friend. Maybe you want to drive a little bit better? Or just get the hell out of there? Yeah. Excuse me. Excuse me, I've got to go check on this over here. There's... There's something... Very important. Right there. Oh, just a sunk ship. Uh... Uh... We're gonna die. This is not going well. And there it is. Fuck. Ah, god damn it. I knew we would. I couldn't turn fast enough. All of a sudden, we're ten thousand dollars in in the hole. To the markets. Let's let's do some selling here. Let's sell the rum. Sell that. We got to get out of the hole. At least close to out of the hole if we can. Oh, we need money. Wait, what's at the what's at the uh, tavern? Black sails spotted. Um, James Lansman spotted black sails on the horizon. Busy ship reward. Eh. Pirates find missing brother. There we go. I can do that. Undock and we're away. For the speed ahead, I'd love to have a galleon that that big, but with just bullets, like all the bullets that it could ever hold. Enemies approach. Sucks for you, Luger. Cause uh, I gotta find this dude. He's he's like up here. It's very important that I find him. It's vitally important to the success and survival of something. In other words, I'm not helping you. Yeah, very busy. I gotta wash my hair. You know, gotta polish my my boots. Gotta. I just no. <laughs> I've lost two battles already, and I'm way in the hole. It's it's time to to make some economic choices. Do a little bit of mission grinding. Find some friends on the open seas. Not take us toe to toe battle against a man of war, and be surprised when I die. Those kinds of things. The smart choices. Over here. Nope. Did we find him already? You can't swim, then why are you on a boat? And bloop. Mission complete. Alright. So, uh, interesting fun fact. There's a thing called a load line. If you ever go to the docks, there'll be a circle on the boat with a line, a horizontal line going through it. That is the load line. It tells you whether you have overloaded the boat. And the history behind that is that we ran into a lot of situations early on in the nautical um, world where oh hold on oh look at you you're so cute boom well we fired the wrong side that was a warning shot son i'd never heard of one uh where we would overload boats with cargo and um they would sink uh killing all or most of the crew and of course the the boat would also be ruined and that would cost a lot of money when insurance came about um, lo and behold people decided they would just overload their boats because they would take out a lot of insurance on it and they would make more money if the boat sank than if the boat actually made it to port so um, somebody came up with the concept of the load line and it was all about you know, showing how much a boat could hold and making sure that it wasn't actually overloaded. So there you go. That's that's basically what a load line does. Uh, shipment to Rundervigard. 
Shipment of grain delivered. Okay. Cool. Where the hell is that? Okay, so we're going over there. Got it. Undock. Let's go. Um. So yeah, you know, you, if you if you overloaded your boat and the hull got too low in the water, it would be unstable and prone to flipping over. And I imagine that the entrance industry... Oh, we're gonna run away from that. I imagine the entrance industry had a lot of requirements and clauses um, in there where it was like, hey, if you have been found to have overloaded your boat and your, you know, your boat f sank because of that, we're not gonna pay out your claim. So, you know, aside from the money saving aspect, it also saved a lot of lives because uh, I, there weren't, as far as I know, I'm pretty sure that was pretty rampant. You know, dishonest ship owners intentionally sending a ship out to, you know, the Cape that was overloaded, banking on it, either sinking or making it, and still making money. Because either way, they made money. So if the, if the boat sank and they had insurance, they made money. And if the boat sank and they didn't have insurance, or if the boat made it and didn't sink, they made money because their shipment got there. You know, it, it was win-win for them. And, you know, it was obviously a lose situation for the, um, duck. It was a lose situation for... What? Didn't, isn't this Raven Guard? Yeah, how do I, how do I deliver this? Run to the guard. Um, yeah, I'll sell the iron. So how am I, how am I supposed to deliver this? Well, let's undock and pull in a bit more. Maybe I'm not pulled in enough? Am I pulled in enough now? Okay, I, I, I don't know, but I just literally bounced off the little island, so let's, let's go back. Dock. Repair our ship. We actually have money now. Did it get delivered? Okay, open city menu. Okay. Um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. Let's see. Market. It's not on the market tab. Tavern. Um, it is not in the tavern tab. Which I kind of expected it to be in the tavern tab. Um, uh, no. Okay, that is the map. What is that? I need to go over there. Black Fort. Okay. That's like a pirate fort. Got it. It in the, why would it be in the build menu? I don't know. Okay, apparently I can't complete this one. Deliver shipment to Rundavagard. I've delivered it. I met Rundavagard. And I cannot do any kind of delivery to them. I don't, I don't understand. Well, okay, delivery missions are are not going to be completable because you can't actually deliver it? Well that sucks. I was looking forward to getting some money from that. I like the little delivery missions, little FedEx quests. Oh well. We do what we can because we must. It's like a missions tab. Oop, oh, hold on. We'll get that gold. Oop. Shit, we'll just run into the island there. Not enough gold to colonize. Got it. So yeah, yeah. You know, load lines, very important. It's very important to load a ship properly and to balance it out. It's also very important to load a plane properly and balance it out. Um, not just for fuel, but for stability. So when you know they're loading packages and and cargo underneath a um hi, that is a pirate fort just took a big old shot at me when they are um, 
loading cargo and, and suitcases and stuff on planes, there's a specific way in which they will load things in order to make sure that the weight is properly distributed. And that's so that the plane flies evenly, it doesn't, you know, fly in any kind of compromised manner. Which it can do, like you can have a plane that is off off kilter and, and the weight's off, and you you end up with a uh, a plane that is hard to control. Although interestingly enough, um, most flights are actually done via um, computer. In fact, it's gotten to the point where. Um, there's concern among pilots, uh, older pilots especially, that younger pilots rely too much on computers and it becomes a situation where, you know, if the younger pilot doesn't really have a lot of experience flying by stick as, um, say, somebody who's, who's always flown by stick. Okay, we gotta, gotta get that guy. Okay, mission complete. You know what, we're gonna take this guy out. Anyways, this is the same. Um crap. Come on. You just gotta make the circles. He'll charge and then once he misses you can Oh, uh, that was that was not the way to do that. I was gonna say, did he die just running into me? That's funny. Yeah, we're in a bit of a squall. Anyways, let's, let's get out of here. Let's not dick around with flying in circles with that guy. Um, not in a squall, at least. So, yeah, they would f they, they would rely too much on computers, so if the computer malfunctioned, they wouldn't know how to fix it. And in a lot of cases where planes crash mysteriously, you know, they, they do investigations, they find that it was human error in reaction to the machines messing up. So there was one flight, and I don't remember which one it was, where they thought that the pilot overreacted and overcorrected because they thought the system was set up in a certain way to um, anticipate and, and I don't want to say dull, but, but prevent overcorrections. So in the current setup, um, when a pilot applies say turning pressure to the plane um, the plane's guide or uh, flight control system will temper that so that it doesn't exceed a safe turning speed so let's say you want it to turn 45 degrees you know if you just jerked the yoke and made it turn 45 degrees the program would say okay you want to turn 45 degrees but you're an idiot and apply too much force let's let's temper that bring it down to an acceptable level of force and turn over time. And it's not saying that the pilot's bad, it's just that the pilot is relying on this fly-by-wire system to to help make sure that their movements are smooth and safe. Well, they think that that system failed and wasn't reporting properly, so when the pilot pulled up on the, on the uh, yoke in order to gain altitude because their plane had been dropping, um, they pulled up too hard, anticipating that system to respond to it, and they pulled them up into a point to where they stalled. Where the um, and, and a stall, if you don't know, is where the air pressure changes to the point where you no longer achieve lift. So, you know, they stalled the plane, and they couldn't recover from the stall, and the plane crashed, and everybody died. So it's a, it's a case where if the pilot had more training... They may not have done that, and they're not saying that, you know, they weren't properly trained, just saying that, are you, like, a sunk guy right out my door here? No, oh, you're a merchant. Okay. Well, welcome. I celebrate your, your arrival. Um, why is the build menu disabled in my town? That's strange. And the shipwright is disabled. Are they broken? I don't know. Anyways, it was a case where they think maybe if the guy had more training, there was a chance, more experience of flying without those systems that they were relying on. There's a chance that he may have recovered appropriately and been fine. 
Now, again, it's all speculation after the fact. It's it's very hard to um, to know whether that's a failure on. Oh, this is Blackwood's island. This isn't my island. Never mind. Let's let's. We're trying to get to my island. Why am I being? Oh, the current. Okay. I could have swore that was my island, but it's not blue, so it's obviously not my island. Oh well, whatever. Anyways, yeah. It's interesting to, to read about and listen to the studies that are done to determine why these accidents happened and, and what could be done to prevent um, future tragedies like that, if anything. So there you go. Some, some more inane revelings about shit that's just random. You know, I get a lot of this stuff that, that creeps into my head during these uh, Let's Plays from a podcast not called 99% Invisible, where they talk about everything that's design-related. Oh, you're, you're not a bad guy. And I really find that to be fascinating because, you know, they, they talk about, you know, choices that, that people and companies make. Um... And, and, you know, why did somebody make that aesthetic choice? And, and what was the result of that? For example, they look at why, um, why they built the, um, the city, city tower on stilts and in the way that they built it. And, um, the danger of cornering winds when it comes to that. That's a big ship. Okay, Commodore. Race for impact indeed, my friend. Oh shit. That was bad. I was hoping to put the Commodore in that position, not me. Yeah, I guess I'm a Commodore too, aren't I? Commodore 64! Haha! <laughs> Alright. Well, I want that loot, so we're gonna go for that instead. Nope, don't mind me. Just needed to get some wood here. Where the hell is he? Oh shit. Our, our friend is about to die. And I'm lost. Perfect. Maybe he'll get struck by lightning? That'll help. Alright, yeah, we're getting the fuck out of here. My home is... Yeah, thanks to gods. Yeah, yeah, because we just... We made it home. We brought home the wood. It's sort of like bacon, but you can't eat it. It just represents the fact that I did not die a horrid, horrid death to that pirate, costing me thousands of dollars. Um, he died though. Dude, that pirate is just wrecking face. Let's go down here and see if we can't finish him off. He should be close to dead. Okay, where's he at? Um, that hurt. Okay, well, he brought his guns around properly. Don't you kill my kill. Oh good, he died. That's my kill! Yes, yes it is. Slow it down, get that gunpowder, nice. Did you drop any loot for me? You did? You did a little damage on the way down. But I'll take I'll take your life. Can I claim this island? That was a lot of shipwrecks for that dude. He had a nice little kill count. Claim an island. This island will be very hard to deal with. I don't think there's a lot of building we can do. Not enough wood. Okay. How about some rubies and gold? I kind of wish there was wood in that um, treasure chest because the implications would be that, you know, they decided to colonize and or uh, bury wood as a treasure, and that just that makes me chuckle. Okay. So we're back here. And. Duck. We have to repair our ship, but that was worth it. 
was very, very worth it. So we got rum. We got all the good things. Why is food green? I don't know. Let's go to build here. Where's the city tab? Oh, right here. We have six workers, 930 storage. Um, I kind of want another tavern? Or another shipwright? What kind of upgrading can we do? Nothing. We need people. And we need a lot more money for that. Storehouse, we need 12 people. So we have to upgrade our people first. 25 wood and 31 food. Okay. So we need 25 wood and 31 food. Okay. There's that. So we got that upgraded. Now we have 12 people. Fantastic. Which is enough people to upgrade our ship right if we had 40 of, of everything basically. 34, 40 can powder, 40 wood, and 40 cloth. Well we can help out with the wood just by clearing trees off our island. So let's go ahead and do that. That'll help. How much wood do we have now? 50 wood. Okay, now we need... Um, now we need cloth and gunpowder, which we have some gunpowder, so we should probably focus on that. Um, okay, well that's that's the best we can do. We have to undock now and and go destroy people. Yes. Well, there's a pirate over here. Hello! I don't have any cargo, but I just ran you into that wall there. Does that help you? Okay, that's not the way I was facing my cannon, but hey, sure, that's that's the way we can fire. Pirate schooner. You're gonna die a lot sooner. Little pirate schooner. Yeah, little pirate schooner's doing some serious damage. It's hard to aim the guns and shoot the pirates like this. Oh shit, no 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 no, get off the rocks. Okay, we just literally jumped up the rocks. Ah, oh, we gotta stop running into boats. Yeah dude, you're gonna have to run, because I can't get involved in that until I heal my boat. Woohoo, we survived, you're welcome. Don't forget to give me money. Duck. Repair ship. Market. Well, hey, we got wood. We don't really need it, so we're gonna sell that 25 wood, get a little bit more cash on hand, and buy uh, enough gunpowder, so it's, it's up to cloth now. Sweet. Making progress. I mean, I could save up 50 gold, or 50,000 gold, and roll for the uh, the next upgrade, which might be something I should do. Now we don't want to sell rubies back home because they're not making a lot of money. Well, those are shortage, so they should go up in price. I'm not sure. Definitely not sure. I would love to claim an island, but I never seem to have enough resources on hand. Like my island doesn't seem to generate resources. I'm not sure if it's just that's the starting island or if, you know, I'm doing something wrong. I'm thinking maybe I'm doing something a bit wrong. There should be a shipwreck over here, though. And if there is, we can get some fat booty off of it. I love me some fat booty. Okay. Don't go off the edge of the map. What happened? You just fell apart, dude. Maybe his ship was on fire? 
I don't know, but we'll take that 16 cloth shit. That's a pretty good start onto the 40 that I need. Just the boat just spontaneously sunk right there in front of me. Alright. Sure, if that's what you guys want to do. I'm not going to stop you from spontaneously sinking. You know, I'll, I will loot your dead corpse, but I won't stop you. Because that's just the kind of nice guy that I am. Are you a pirate? No, I don't think you're a pirate. What's going on down here? Is there a pirate down here? Uh, nope. Looks like it's just a stranded dude and a megalodon. Ow. Did Megalodon, did you shink, shink, sink a ship over here, buddy? Megalodon. Maggie. There you are. Give him a one-sider. That's sort of like a broadside, but on one of them, we don't use broads. Come on. Pro dodging. Oh, we got some damage done. This would be some good food. If we can get him. I don't know how much health he has left. That's certainly going to take some out of him. Oh, that's how much health he had left. None. Good, good, good. That'll help. 11 food. Tell your wife that you love her. Nah. You tell her when we get home, Jimmy. Don't fall off the edge of the map. Oh, there's loot that we want. Come to me, loot. Or don't. Alright. Okay, we got a hit off there. Can't say he wasn't fighting back. Good on you, mate. You fight back. Um, yeah. Whoa, 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 No, you do not push me off into the freaking death zone. Okay. We really can't fight that pirate. Um, we don't have the hole for it. Yeah, so we're just gonna run the fuck away. And that's how you get away from pirates, Jimmy. You take pot shots and then you run away. Well, thanks, Pop Pop. Okay, now we're gonna dock, repair the hull, go to the market, transfer all the food, all the cloth, sell the rubies, undock, and go back for more. Get out of my way, merchants! There's a pirate out there with your name on it, Merchant. George Merchant the Pirate. And I'm going to kill him. And then we're going to wrap the episode up, because this episode's running a wee bit long. Oh, you're screwed. Let it go, Elsa. It's okay. Just let it go. Oh, wow, you just wrecked that cog there. Don't worry, Oceanic Cleanup Crew is here. We will clean up this wreckage lickety split. Now, I did say lickety. That's my pirate, thank you. And that's my food. That is also my pirate. These pirates are quite lucrative today, aren't they? Okay, slow her down. Go over here. Get that one. Eight stone. Too bad it wasn't sixteen stone. Ha ha ha. Jokes. And then yum. And then shipwreck. Gunpowder stone and cloth. Big win on the cloth there. Horn swoggle. <laughs> oh, that's a great name. Alright, we're going to head back home and then we'll wrap the episode up. We made some great booty come back from some serious deaths. 
Oh, we gotta go save this dude that's just floating. We got a floater out here. Okay. Come on, floater. Where where has the rum gone? Well, I'm sure that it was on the boat that you sank like an idiot. I bet he didn't check his load lines before he undocked. That's both his fault and the dock master's. Uh huh. Repair my ship. Uh did we we almost got enough cloth without buying a single bit of cloth. That makes me very happy. Um Let's see, we need to buy 10 cloth. And then we can upgrade our ship, right? Which this guy just pushed me into my dock. And that'll give us enough room to transfer everything over here. Now we have no cargo to lose. And a second, second uh, level ship, right? Which means, do I have new ships? I have the Brig, a large, heavily armed ar and armored ship, and then there's two more levels, but I think our next one's going to be the Brig, which just looks really badass, and it costs 16,000 gold. I can get that. Do I want to sell everything to try to get that? Well, for 300 gold, I do want that. That's 3,000. We got a lot of stone here. Okay. We can get wood easily enough. Iron's a little harder. Food is a challenge. But we're almost 16,000. Okay. So we're gonna use this money to buy the brig. Oh! <laughs> Undock, let's see what this bad boy can do. Oh, yes. Hooray! You're saved! You're welcome. That is a pretty ship. Oh, that was good. That felt good. That almost took that full health Megalodon out in a single shot. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm not too worried about this Megalodon. I mean, that, that did almost no damage. Get off my ship, merchant, or I'll go pirate and kill you. Alright. You did. You made it so I couldn't turn around and go get this food and, and end this episode. Alright, we're going to wrap this episode up here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, Leave a like if you have any kind words. What? Kind words? If you have any words. I don't care if they're kind or not. I hope they are. But if you have anything you'd like to say, any comments, suggestions, throw them down in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this and you haven't subscribed, consider clicking that good old subscribe button. And YouTube will let you know when I get fresh content out. All that being said, I'll see you next time.